Hey guys, it's Bob here, that Scottish drummer, and I just wanted to make a really quick video today on how to move the Foursquare library that you've probably built up on your iPad right over into your Mac. We now have Foursquare on the Mac as a native app, which is really cool. And that is if you're running Mac OS 11, Big Sur, you have to be on the latest software. And if you bought it before on the iPad, which I'm assuming you have watching this video, then um, it's free to download on the Mac. So let me jump over on the computer and I'll show you how we get this done. All right, so we're gonna head over to the App Store and we're gonna search for Foursquare. It's gonna come up as 1999 and this confused me at first. So you click on it and then you click Buy App and if you have purchased it before, it's gonna say that you have. So are you sure you wanna buy and download, you click buy. A family member has already bought this item. Yeah, that's right. I haven't actually bought this, but someone in my family plan has. But if you've bought this, the similar message is gonna pop up. So click okay. And then it starts the download process. Okay, so we're gonna click open. It's gonna close the Mac App Store. So here we go. This is my uh, score that I've got open here. But to import this, if you have a backup, say you have Foursquare from your iPad backed up in iCloud Drive like I did, it's really easy. So you go to File, Import, and then right there, I'm in iCloud Drive, and you can see my Foursquare archive. And that just loads everything that I've saved on my iPad straight onto the Mac. And now I'll show you the second way, which is to share it directly from your iPad. So I've got my iPad here with Foursquare on it. Hopefully you can see that. So we're gonna tap up the top right on the little briefcase icon here. And we're gonna go down to backup. And you can see my iPad Pro backup here. We're gonna press and hold. And then you get share, tap on that. And then you can airdrop it to yourself. So I'm gonna to go to airdrop, MacBook Pro. And it's sent over to the computer and it's received it on my computer, so I'm gonna click open. So it's saying it already exists because Foursquare on my Mac is running this already. So I'll click skip, but that's how you do it guys. So you can do it from iCloud if you've backed up your iPad to iCloud and you can do it straight from AirDrop sharing from Foursquare to Foursquare. So I hope that helps. I hope in the future we get the ability to make edits between so that we can share a library wirelessly. If I make any changes on my iPad, it's gonna change in my Mac, and if I make changes in the Mac, it's gonna change in the iPad. That'd be pretty handy for some file management. So uh, yeah, that's it for this one, just a quick video. I hope that helped you guys. Thanks for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one.